Hi, we're going to take a look at a homework problem from Chapter 10, Correlation and Regression. And this particular problem is about the bear data using the bear's chest size and their weights. And we use software in this first particular one. And they tell us that the correlation is 0.984. So we want to use an alpha level 0 0.05 and determine if there is a strong linear correlation between chest size and weight. So the first part of this question here is simply we need to open up this data set. We need to look down the proper file and it says for a sample of eight bears. So we go down to where n is eight and we look at the cutoff value and it's 0.707. So a correlation above 0.707 or below negative 0.707 would be considered meaningful and we look at 984. So yes, the test statistic falls outside, you know, that critical value. The second part of the question asks us then what proportion of the variation of weight can be explained by the linear relationship between the weight and chest size. And that is found by squaring your correlation. It's called when you square the correlation, you're finding a percentage of variance that you can explain by manipulating the initial variable. Okay, so we're not really computing anything here other than finding the proportion of variation of weight. However, if we take a look at a problem like number three, and we have data okay, sets about budget and gross, and it wants us to compute the correlation, here we're going to open this in StatCrunch. And we're going to put stat regression, simple linear. We have budget and gross, and we're not going to worry about anything else right now here. Click Compute. You notice that you automatically are given a, an equation, which looks like a y equals mx plus b, and <coughs> correlation coefficient, excuse me, as well as the square of the correlation. This is the value that we would use to, again, predict the amount of variability in the gross amount that is directly attributed to the variability in the budget. If you scroll down through this page here, see some other values. If you click continue, you will see a scatter plot with the fitted line. So again, here's your predictor equation. If you were given a particular problem where you're given a budget amount, you could plug it in here for x and be able to determine a relatively decent model of your predicted value for the gross data. If and only if your correlation coefficient is considered to be meaningful by the chart only. If this value is not meaningful according to the chart, then this predictor equation is not effective, and you would use the y average, in this particular case, the gross average, as the best prediction. Keep that in mind because there are some problems where you'll be using it.